Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are diving into this new app called Amy, which is a calendar app that is great for calendar blocking and daily planning, which is something I am trying to get more into, especially the calendar blocking part. I have a to-do list app and I use it quite regularly, uh, but I have never been able to calendar block properly, so there will be a lot more calendar blocking videos coming in the future, in addition to all of the note-taking apps and productivity content I am already putting out. So let's just jump right into this app. This is a calendar app, quite a basic, easy to use calendar app, just like any other calendar app, but it has a few cool features. The first one is actually tasks, which is something uh, Morgan also offers and a lot of other apps also do offer. So calendar apps have become more of daily planner apps with the ability to add tasks in different lists. So you can have uh, multiple lists inside of here. You can drag to reorder your list and you have an inbox here as well. And you can drag your tasks into here uh, in order to actually schedule them. Just to show you how that works, I will add a new task, which is take take out the trash. As usual, I can't spell. Uh, I struggle to spell in these videos. If you're new to my channel, let's say it takes 15 minutes. It doesn't actually take 15 minutes, but let's drag this into my day. And here we have take out trash. I can go in here and I can actually edit it so it is spelled correctly. Uh, so take, take out the trash like this. You can add guests, you can add location or call, or you can change the basic calendar settings right here, like reminders or changing the color of this. So I want to, if you ever wanted to calendar block things, you would know that, uh, or you should have different colors for different things in your life. So I will do this in blue. Uh, I can choose to show busy or to show free, or I can make this into an all day event or uh, or have it as a recurring task that is actually coming quite soon. They are developing this app quite fast and you can also add things just by dragging it into the calendar. Uh, I will go ahead and I will actually delete this. Uh, but that is not the best part about this app. Right now we have just covered the things that most apps out there have. What's really cool about this app is the fact that it has integrations and it has a bunch of integrations as well. So if I now jump into my integrations right here, you can see that there is a bunch of integrations. It even has an integration with things, which is one thing I am really happy about because I use things for my to-dos. It is just such an easy and beautiful looking app. It has it with TickTick and Todoist. These three are probably the most used uh, to-do list applications together with Notion. If you do a lot of project management in Notion, you can sync that as well. But Notion now has its own calendar, so you would probably use that. Um, it also has a few integrations that is coming up. So you can request things. I would love a Netflix, uh, a Netflix integration, a Vedder integration, and probably a Siri integration as well. So as you can see, they are still in early stages of this uh, app. But let's jump back into the app. So continue. And uh, as you can see here, you can see my um, Spotify integration, which is already here. You can see all the songs I have listened to. And I listen to a lot of music every single day, especially at work. I listen to music all the time and it integrates with my uh, with my Spotify so it shows me everything I have listened to today which is 
really really cool and i am thinking that a netflix integration would be quite similar to this when it comes to pricing it has a free plan uh and we can take a look at the pricing here as well so here are the plans it has a free plan uh, but that only allows you three integrations and it doesn't have ai auto scheduling uh, but uh, and the email client within uh, ame uh, is also in the pro plan so if you would like email in your calendar application this is the plan for you it is quite pricey compared to or it is pricey compared to some of the other options out there. It costs a few dollars more each month. I think it's two or three dollars more than something like Morgan, but it offers a lot for that amount of money and it has a lot of integrations, but there are still a few things that needs to be developed. As I said, it is a, it is a new application but it has a lot of uh, shortcuts as well uh, for those of you who like shortcuts but in general i would say that it, i would probably recommend starting with the free plan uh, and seeing whether or not this is something for you if you enjoy the experience i would recommend going for the pro plan because it it isn't that much money uh, compared to a lot of the daily planner apps out there so when calendar apps started to get more and um, more task management into them the pricing also went up so if you think about it compared to having both a calendar app and a task man uh, task manager this is probably worth it even though there are cheaper prices out there if you're in something like morgan and you enjoy that i would uh, recommend staying with morgan uh, but it uh, but if you are looking for something new and this really fits you after trying the free plan i would say that it is worth 12 dollars each month but that is just my personal opinion and it also depends on your financial situation as well but you get a lot from the free plan when it comes to availability it is uh it has a web version which i'm using right now or you could download it for the mac or uh for the iphone android apps uh is coming uh, but it isn't here yet so right now if you want the apps it is strictly ios only but they have a web version that works quite well the only thing is that uh, for the integrations right here you can't actually add the things integration uh, i haven't tried the other ones but the things integration cannot be added until you're on a desktop so until you're on your mac the last thing i wanted to talk about is the fact that you can't uh, actually uh, add calendars outside of the google ecosystem so this just works with google calendars uh, which is something that annoys me because i i have an outlook calendar all of my uh all of my emails and calendars are outlook so that is a bit unfortunate but apart from that it is a great looking app and they stated that uh outlook calendar is coming so i will probably be waiting for outlook calendar until i would fully commit to an app like this just because i don't use google calendar uh, it isn't a part of my daily workflow but that is all i had on today's video on the app amin ame it is called ame i have had a long day anyways everything i had on the app ame thank you so so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching